Probably, maybe. Probably, maybe. Hi, welcome everyone. This is fine. We're live now. I've I bought as much time as I possibly could. I have, I have hemmed and hawed and spoken to chat and been asking everyone how their Friday is while while listening uh, to both Drew and Cat talk about this this uh, event going on in New World. And um, I you we're we're out of time. We're out of we're gonna just do it. We're gonna just do the thing. Uh, so, hi! Welcome! Happy Friday, everyone! This is our Spelljammer adventure in Spase, which is the actual correct, correct pronunciation of space. Uh, this is our 5th edition D&D campaign, where you can also influence that game, and I see, I see bits there, so Pete, uh, this is... Who do you want to give the nat 20 to? Because there's two people here, or you could give it to me, which uh, is... The best idea. If I had a camera uh, zoom here, this is where I would do it. Uh, do it, yeah. But also, you can uh, do the following boons for these characters and players here. Uh, $5 for a reroll, $10 for a nat 20, $15 for... Uh, in, in an internal monologue, we're calling insight. If you just want one of these players to go off on a tangent about what their character is thinking about, that can be really fun. And the, the last one of which is a $20 draw from the deck of many modified to, you know, fit a show context and not immediately end the world, but there are some world-ending possibilities involved there. So, all proceeds go to these lovely cast members here. You can also support them by going to patreon.com slash diefall, where I have designed a game for one of our other shows that you can participate in and affect the entire world there too. And uh, all of that goes to these people too. So at the end of the month, all that stuff, I just, I'm gonna, I just throw money. I'm gonna just throw money at people. And I'll get my catcher's mitt out. That's how that works. So, welcome, everyone. Uh, my two lovely cast members here today are Kat and Drew. Hopefully, Dan magically appears at some point. It is currently set up to just, like, uh, accept his camera, right? Like, it's just going to yes. pop up, and he's just going to be here. Uh, yes. But otherwise, we're going to, we're going to space. Um, we made it off of a, a collapsing planet. And uh, does anyone... For, for and save no one and save no one but also save no one and i for, killed a guy with a coin yeah for, and i for, killed an innocent bystander with a chandelier if you would like <laughs> to give a full recap of last episode by full i mean you know to your best of your ability i will give you a nat 20 to spend at any time in the game either that or i'm gonna take one and i'm gonna do the recap go for it <laughs> well you see oh last time we guys will get it. this is Ruby looking thing, you look like a bear. And, and I was that guard, right? I had a trunk, and I'm like, Ugh. and and then uh, double T's there, you know, he he do the thing with the mouth and stuff, and like then there was these like big green house plants, and I'm like ah, and everyone's like ah, and I was like, oh no, I gotta go help the boss. We gotta go get this bear thing. And then, I don't know, there was like, I don't know, some chandeliers fell from the sky. Oh wait, no, I think I did that. I can't remember. I, somebody got hurt. I won't go help them. Uh, I got bit by, by a houseplant. I got hurt a little bit. I <laughs> bit by a houseplant. Uh, <laughs> and then, I, and then uh, uh, Triple C's got to go, you know, I was like, give me uppies. And he's like, okay. So he gave me up easy, you know, and then uh, he had he took the, the the gym thingy. I ate it. I ate the little bad one, you know, like crazy. And then I was like, all right, yeah, let's go. And we like rode on out of there. And boss was like, we gotta figure out a way to get back to our ship. I'm like, I got you, boss. And then I'm like, on double D's. You know, you can actually go pretty fast. Uh, and then there was these guys who were like, oh, you can't get through here. You're no curse. <laughs> Urgh, you can't get through here, curse. And then I was like, oh, that's not really nice. You know, we gotta, we gotta go. And then, uh, what was it? And then, uh, Triple C's like, oh, yeah? And he, like, threw a shiny at him. And he, like, hit him in the eye or something. He fell over. It was really cool. And then... Uh, I was like, 
on, and we got on the ship, right? Yeah. And then I got candle, because I did a really good job. Boss said, you know, I'd have candle, you know, because light is stuff. If I did a really good job, and I did a very good job. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got the thingy in the belly, you know? And, uh, now there's some, the weird, like, weird flying saucer thingy out there. You fucking nailed it! Yeah. It was so good! Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it got, got bitten by a house plant. Yeah, you went to go help someone that you murdered, uh, and by help, Pine, uh, went through some pockets to steal things. It was great! It was a great time! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, that help, Yeah, help! Help yourself. <laughs> Oh helping my those in need. <laughs> helping, helping those in need. Oh my god. Um, we got we got some things here. So, uh, Kat, today you've already gotten two, uh, two nat twenties that you're going to be able to spend here today, which is which Ooh. is great. Love that for you. Um, and there's also two draws from the deck of many. So that's also a thing that I need to do here. So we're gonna we're gonna do that as well. Um, I have to kind of do that in the in the background here because I'm gonna draw some stuff and then stuff is just gonna happen to you. So I hope it goes well. Um, I'm preparing to lose all of my stuff. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm preparing to have absolutely all of my possessions nothing. gone. Yeah, I it'll be it'll be fine probably. <laughs> so your your mid fight, you go to pull out your gun, it's not there. It'll be it's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> um. So yes, very well done. As the city of Waterdeep was falling apart, these large crystalline vines erupting from the ground. Our mid heist crew was able to successfully heist said thing and then um yeah we we got away sort of by murdering things and saving no one that's actually not entirely true on the moon dancer your current ship that you're sailing uh with captain sartell and our uh spell jammer named flapjack uh, you were able to save roughly what seems to be 30 refugees that are now just out in space for the first time, and they've never, ever experienced that ever. So, that's good. Who let them out of the ship? Who let, yeah, who, uh, who did that? You are on I the way, ways. you're on the way to a place called the Rock of Thrall. This is known as kind of like the, the home base in the area. It is a, a, a city built into an asteroid, and we'll, we'll probably get there today unless horrible things happen. Um, but while traveling to that location, we, uh, well, some, some things started to happening. You're able to take a short rest a bit and, and recover, but the Moon Dancer slowed down as another vessel came into view, approaching from the stern. The pursuing vessel looks like a giant moth with wings made of iridescent crystal, similar in color and luster to the crystalline vines that ravaged the world you just escaped. Can make out figures on the other vessel's deck, scrambling to arm the ship's mangonel. Captain Sartell speaks. Astral elves, they don't look friendly. Best ready yourselves for a fight. And from there, we're going to just kind of go to a, a map where we're going to be on a, a ship fighting page. It's probably going to be fine. When I say this, it's not actually going to be fine. But you're going to oh. note that in your oh, okay. character uh, portion of Roll20, you're going to have access to the Moon Dancer. That is a, a thing that you now have. Uh, so when time comes to start firing shipboard weapons or deciding what to do, you now have access to the ship itself. And me noticing that my camera's like super out of whack on this page for some reason, just going to briefly fix that. So, what I would love for you to do, um, Drew, you can go ahead and roll me initiative utilizing the Moon Dancer page. You, so, let's see if you can access that first. Hopefully, everything's good there. And there's a little uh, button let me see here. on the page when you go to character sheet that says yeah. init, as in initiative. 
Um, I have the description of it. Oh, there's a okay. sheet. Okay. Okay. Sorry, wrong tab. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Where is that admission of acts? I get underneath the Moon Dancer description in character sheet. Mm -hmm. Underneath the description. It has like two little. It has two little dice icons. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Ah, I got it. Nice. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our space galleon is going to be able to uh, probably go first here. We're going to see how it goes. So, yeah, as so. these things are happening, um, this, yeah, Moon Dancer is going to go first out of 20. <laughs> There's only two to really look at here because we go by cruise when we do our uh, whole shipboard action thing. Um, Captain Sartell here, as the Moon Dancer begins to you know, try to pull away from this, looks back and goes, I, we've got about a minute before they're up on us here. Make preparations as you can. I'm gonna go down below and make sure that all of our refugees are staying out of the way. That mangonel looks dangerous and, well, dodge if you can. And she'll head down below to begin, you know, preparing each of the refugees for the impending attack. So you have about a minute here to prepare. What would you like to do? Is there anything in specific that you would like to do or prepare here? Well, I guess uh, AAA, if that if that mangonel takes two actions to load. Yeah, so you take a look around the ship here. Go ahead and roll me a perception yeah, check. Yeah, what do we got going yeah. on? Yeah, Start to look around. A 10. You look back to the, the, the afterward portion of the ship and you look at the mangonel and it is absolutely in shambles oh. on the ground. Taking a look Never around mind. to the front of the ship, you see that there are two ballistas still operational. Very limited amount of bolts there, though. It looks like Sartell was, uh, well, sailing light, as it were. Is there, as I look around, is there anything that could be used as a ballista? Yeah, yeah, the two, there's two physical ballistas at the front. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, they, they do have what looks to be about five pieces of ammo each. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So they are functional. The mangonel, though, is a is a mess. You go up there to look at it, you're like, this is this will never function. Fair enough. Uh, well, the AAA, uh, the wielder, uh, Pine, uh, uh, looks like we're in for a fight. Uh, you want to earn yourself another candle? Uh, yeah, but, candle. Yeah, well, uh, if the ship goes down, there's going to be no more candles. Oh, the way that, that doesn't, no, we can't, I don't like that. That's right. So we're fighting for the light here. Uh, you got to get on the ballista, and then we got a pew pew. You know. I can do that. Yes, sir. Do you? He's just gonna assume she knows how to use a ballista. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, like I said, it'll probably be fine. You know, it'll be okay. Probably um, sounds good enough to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. So. Heading to the front of the ship here, Pine, you take a look at this ballista. Uh, have you ever used a siege weapon before? Uh. Pine, would you have ever used a siege weapon? This is, this is a character question. I'm only, would you yeah, have? Yeah, I'm, I believe that Pine knows their way around a ship because they have, they have operated one multiple times. So I feel like they would be familiar with it. And that doesn't mean that they're really great with their aim. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, little age, you know. Pine is a pretty old bug. You know, eyes are a little bit foggy. <laughs> okay. Um, roll me an uh, investigation check. Okay. You take a look at this ballista and you're like, Welp, there's a crank here, there's ammo there, and you kind of wiggle it around. You could probably make it work. You're not super sure about it, but you're, you could probably make it work. All right. Good enough, I right? I, uh... <laughs> Pine Saw is going to mount the ballista. Okay. Yes. Pine but mounts the ballista. Not, not like that. Oh, okay. Like, she's gonna we'll latch, 
latch. Yeah, they will ride the ballista, like latch on to what it the perfect the ammunition that will be shot out. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so AAA looking over to see if Pine's taking care of things here. Pine has loaded themselves into the ballista. Uh, what exactly are you doing over there? I'm, I'm ready. Ready for, ready for what? We're gonna fight him. You wanna, you want me to shoot you over there? That's, that's what this is for. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, uh, uh, I mean, I guess it could what? be. I don't see why not. Well, I'm ammo. Hey. Well, I mean, you would be a... Uh, I just uh, see any ammo here. There's like a crank here, and then there's this thing here, and I'm like, okay, yeah, Pine can fit right here. What up? I don't know if I know better. <laughs> you're, you, you are an autonome <laughs> artillerist. This is no, no, literally I, I, a piece of artillery. Better. I know better, but I don't know if I know better than to stop her. Oh. Uh, may, maybe we try shooting the ammunition here on the ground first. You see uh, these projectiles that going to damage. I mean, I'll shoot you over, but maybe we damage, oh. we soften them up first. You know what I mean? Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, we yeah, soften yeah. up the ship, then we can board. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We're got wasting an awful lot of time here. Cut the bread before you butter it. <laughs> I, I think yep. Flapjack here speaks up and goes, "Oh yeah, they um they're definitely in range at this point, and uh, oh, watch out, <laughs> incoming!" And as the uh, the the pursuing ship fires off. Uh, their mangonel. I would love dexterity saving throws yeah. from both of oh, you. Of course you would. Yeah, why not? And we're gonna see how they're able to uh, make that work. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. No. Okay. So as this stone goes poof, out uh, from the pursuing ship's gravity zone and into your direction, fortunately, they're still too far away for this to be overly accurate but it does impact the side of the ship and spray you a bit with shrapnel here as it does so. Each taking one point of damage, but more than likely just making sure that you know time is of the essence. Hey, uh, here, let me, let me show you. I got, gonna... it, I got it, I got it. So we're all over there. I'm going to grab ammo, but I'm going to do it with all four of my hands. Uh-huh. I'm going to carry one on my upper, one on my lower. Okay. And just... just waddling on over there. I got it, I got it. Okay, I put it in the seat. But yeah, you just, you just, you put it in the track there and then you, you're gonna have to crank it back and then let it go. All right, put it in. And I'm gonna take the one that I put in. I'm gonna, I'm still holding another thing of ammunition. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it. Yeah, so with, like, your, pull back. with your additional arms, you can effectively take two actions on the ballista here in general which is kind of awesome. Uh, yeah. All right, so you've got it loaded here. Um, AAA, are you assisting in this regard? Yeah, he's gonna be standing there, you know, oh, you're gonna pull this back, you're gonna touch that, you go. Just maybe don't climb in at this time. <laughs> no, 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 no climb yet. Okay. Gotta, gotta cut the bread before buttering. Yeah, you know, that's a great analogy. Yeah. Okay. The uh, pursuing ship, again, seems to drift ever closer as Flapjack uh, intones out here, like, oh, I, um, yeah, they're faster than us. Uh, gonna be up alongside relatively soon. You wanna give that ballista a go? Yeah, I got it, Kate. All right, give it a five, a 14 as it goes doof, off into the distance here. will actually impact the other ship. So you can roll damage by clicking the word bolt there nice. above that 14 for 14 piercing oh, damage. Oh, oh, oh. And you watch as one of their, uh, they seem to have some mercenaries aboard as well. One of their mercs that is utilizing a uh, the ballista at their front of the ship just gets impaled and just pinned directly to the ship itself. Nice, love that. Yeah, that was a good shot there. You, you, yeah, can't you do another. Yeah. Yep. yep. Loading it up. I'm already already loading it up. Pine saw's already loaded it up and you know like wheeling it back, She's loading it up with both her hands. Pine, roll me a d10. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oops, it's a. There we go. Oh, a two. Yeah. Okay. Flapjack from here goes. Oh, hey, watch out. Um. Well, space fish and a school of space fish are just fluttering over the top of Moon Dancer. As soon as you're trying to load the ballista, I need dexterity saving throws from both of you. Oh boy. <laughs> Everyone loves space fish. Oh. 16 and 16 as you're both able to duck underneath the fish there as they float over the Moon Dancer. Pine, you get up and begin to your loading action on the ballista. Yep. Our pursuing ship of the uh, the elves here is going to launch a, a mangonel stone in your direction. They are close enough now that they can do so without disadvantage. And this is going to strike the hull of the ship for 20 points of damage. And you can hear the shouts of surprise uh, from below decks as it impacts the midboard. Okay. Well, I, I, I better go get to the, the other ballista b before we uh, lose the ship. The boss isn't going to like that. No, boss, boss will be very angry. Yeah, speaking, uh, speaking of boss, maybe we should... Now is good. Smiley face to Dan. We're going to take a brief little pause here so Dan can join the call, and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> I just, I just assume that Helene is sleeping below yeah, deck. Yeah, below deck, taking, taking a, a short rest. <laughs> just, just oh, below. God. Snoozing. Yeah, so you guys are currently loading up uh, on on the ballista here, and hopefully the boss is here soon. Um, the captain, will, Sartell, will come up after that explosion as well. Goes, oh, they're all uh, taken care of as much as possible. How's it looking? I can already tell they've hit us once. Well, I think it's more than once. Uh, hard to tell from here. But uh, there was a lot of damage and a lot of screaming. Uh, I don't know if that's indicative of getting hit, but could be. No, it was... De yeah, we got hit. It was bad. Um, I think a child may have died below decks, but I'm not going to pay attention much to that until we're done here. People die every day. People die every day. Hopefully not us, though. Potentially not us. Uh, as the uh, the boss is woken up here. Hey, Dan. How's it going? Welcome. You're in the Hi. mix. The first, the, the first thing I read in the chat is Dan is the ballista. What is <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, no, to catch true. you up in just a little bit here. Uh, we are on the Moon Dancer. As when we left off, you were being pursued by what looked to be an astral elf uh, ship. Uh, we have not seen like who is actually piloting this or, or what their their beef is with us, uh, but they do mm. seem to uh, have some trouble with you all here. Uh, we are currently firing back and forth, utilizing the various different implements on board our ship. And I am adjusting your camera as we speak. Looking good. Love that. Welcome to the mess that is this whole experience. You missed the recap, cool. though, from Pine. Oh, Pine had a great it recap. Golden. It was amazing. It's okay. Recap the recap? <laughs> it's, it's, it's recorded for posterity. We'll, we'll hear about it later. Yeah. <laughs> no worries there. Uh, yeah, so... The way that we're going to do this right now, uh, Helene, you are awoken by a crash at the midboard portion of the ship where you are taking a nice short rest. Uh, turns out you need to get topside pretty quick. So with that, uh, the mangonel has been fired. The ballista has been loaded up. And Helene, you get to the top side of the ship to look out here and see that the uh, pursuing ship here is getting ever closer. Is there something that you would like to do in the immediacy here as it approaches, or would you like to just go assist your crew at this point in time? Um, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> as I uh, rub the sleepy out of my eye and kind of see what the heck's going on, uh, can I get can I get any type of idea of of what kind of ship this might be yes. isn't, this is the one this is a big bird right big bird yeah uh, sort of uh go ahead and roll me okay. a a perception check here first uh and yeah i'll, I'll okay. pull up the uh the little handout here for this again um 
so you can all see that here. It looks more right, like a, a moth than anything else, but yes. Oh, right. Yeah. You said perception, right? Yes, please. Uh, a nine. Yeah, so as you look back at this ship, uh, it does look like a moth. And it's like, okay, yes. Nice. And you can see um, creatures, humanoids, moving about on the tops of the deck here, utilizing the Belissa and Manganel on the deck of that particular ship. And something sticks out to you. Uh, there are some heavily armored uh, people up there wearing mostly red, and I would love a history check from you for this. Because you may actually know something about them. You don't! At this point in time, you're like, yeah, okay, I feel like I should know something about this, but uh, maybe you're just too sleepy for the time being. Um, so, but I, I feel like I, like something's familiar, yes, right? correct. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, with that, I mean, I guess that at that point, I'd be alarmed and I'd start finding my crew. Sure. They are at the front of the ship, uh, firing backwards behind you all with the ballista. They have another bolt loaded. Fire away, Pine! A 25, absolutely. Oh. Roll damage. For 21, as it impacts into the pursuing moth-like ship. Nicely done. Boss, boss! Boss! Boss, we're finding the ship! What, 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 do you guys know what it is? No, but we're firing point. at it, and they're firing at us, and we gotta stop them, otherwise there's no line. Sartell okay. from up at the, going. the spell jamming position here next to Flapjack looks down and says, good of you to join us there, boss. It's a uh, astral elf ship. No relation to you, I think. I think there's a Rixian Empire. The red bits on their armor are giving it away. And that would trigger some mm. memories for you uh, about the Xerixian Empire. Uh, astral elves are broken up into various different empires or uh, mm. you know, kingdom states. Uh, the Xerixian Empire is from a, a small star system known as Xerixia. And uh, have always had kind of a, a militant view on things. So why the Empire is out here, not super sure, but they are currently pursuing your vessel, and with that, a Manganel boulder comes flying through the air in your general direction as they again continue to catch up to the Moon Dancer here. So with that, uh, the Manganel stone goes flying through the air, and I would love dexterity saving throws. Ooh, probably from Helene, who just got up here, and Captain Sartell. So hopefully it works out for Sartell as she dodges out of the way here. 10, it's not good. Okay. Uh-oh. Um. Deck save for me, Helene. 12? Okay. Oh. 12 will, will just save here as you dodge out of the way of the boulder itself and it explodes behind you. Uh, it deals 18 bludgeoning damage to the Moon Dancer here as you continue floating along at unfortunately slower speeds than the pursuing ship, but you're able to avoid the worst of the damage here and will take, nice, one piercing from the shrapnel, whereas unfortunately our captain here is going to take a total of eight. Okay. Yeah, they are a gaining. So. I don't know if use the explosives. <laughs> on, the, on the Moon Dancer's turn, it seems that they are also getting their ballista ready here too. Uh, they are coming into better range for their, their weapons. What do you want to do here? You've been able to fire off two ballista shots and they are ever approaching. Uh, I was uh, I was preparing a ballista, the other one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go ahead I, and give it a... Yeah, let's, let's give, give it a it fire. One. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, that's not what it... No, yeah, so it'll be the one underneath that, in the actions Ooh. spot. Ah, gotcha. Wait. Actions, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, what I'm looking at, sorry. Yeah, weapons is oh, just God. how they like track each of the yeah, weapons yeah. and damage and stuff like that. A nine as it, and the uh, the moth-like ship behind you kind of canters out of the way of the uh, the bolt there. Well, I got some, uh, most of What kind of aim was that? 
But uh, I, I, it was explosions. Must have uh, got something in my on my lenses as he takes a handkerchief yeah, out and wipes explosions. his eyes. <laughs> Ooh, Love explosions! it. Explosions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About him. And as the uh, the ballista shot goes a little wide. You feel something in your brain mechanism space here, AAA. Uh, unfortunately, you have drawn the Fool card of from course. that draw from the deck of many. Now, again, oh, these are modified for our show to make a little bit more, more sense here, and it does not immediately do the things that the Fool card generally does, but you do lose something, AAA. You lose something. You lose, like, a sense like uh, your your sense of excitement, or you lose a memory that you hold dear. Oh man! You don't need a smell, right? <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> I sure don't. I think I think I lose my sense of balance. You lose your sense of I think, balance. I think I think I now have vertigo. I love oh. that for the time being. Dexterity saving throws made on unstable surfaces will be made at disadvantage for triple A until okay. the sense of vertigo is fixed. You got this gyro spinning that's not supposed to necessarily be spinning. It's just like constantly yeah. spinning. Yeah. That yeah, little bit of these... shrapnel stuck in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. I think all these explosions kind of rattled my head a bit. <clears throat> By rattled, I mean they... literally knock something loose. Uh, all right. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Just get better, please. Uh huh. We need we need you back on the guns. Taking a seat may not be in the best interest of things, as the nope. pursuing ship is going to fire off two ballista shots and another mangonel as it continues to approach the location. The ballista bolts are aimed specifically at your weapon systems here at the front of the ship. The mangonel stone lobbed through the air to impact the side of the moon dancer, impacted for twenty nine total points of bludgeoning damage. The Moondancer has definitely seen better days. Both of the Ballista Bolts also fly true. I need those of you operating the Ballista to roll me dexterity saving throws. Triple A oh, at disadvantage. Yes. That 22 oh, looked pretty cool. 14, okay. 20. Okay, 14. Uh, and then I need Pine, I need a dexterity saving throw. And Helene, that you went up there to assist your friends, I do need also a dexterity saving throw. Those are both just standard rolls there. 17 for Helene, nice. Pine with an 11. You'll be just enough to get out of the way of the worst of the impacts here, but both of these, balli <laughs> these ballista bolts, one of them deals 23 total points of piercing damage, slamming into the ballista that you're occupying here and destroying it completely. Just absolutely annihilating it. The other one, however, will only deal the nine. As it does so, it's going to explode and create some shrapnel here. All of you do succeed, so you'll just take the two points of piercing damage as it comes across. Only one ballista remains on the Moon Dancer here. Um, Sartell seems to be readying herself. As you note that the pursuing ship seems to have a boarding party preparing themselves to jump across. Yeah, so... <clears throat> We need we need to get some distance here. We gotta we gotta we gotta speed up. We gotta aim, we gotta take out the wings. We, we gotta slow them down somehow. We need to we need something to give us some time to regroup. I think it might be too too late for that, boss. As uh, the AAA is gonna pull out his pistol and spin the spin the chambers and uh, uh, as he <laughs> stumbles over to the side. Excellent. Uh, yeah, they're getting ever closer here, and I think. Uh, for 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 you here, Dan, uh, Flapjack would reiterate again. It's like, uh, we can't go any faster. This is it. Um, that's about it. We're not going to go any further, any faster, and they're going to catch us. So if you've got ideas, Flapjack, do we, we have any chain? Do we have any chain shot around here? He looks around and he points with a tentacle to the the mangled mangonel on the back end of the ship. It's like, only for that, unfortunately. <sighs> Okay, we need something. Uh, I need I need all of you to go to the kitchen real quick. I need you to grab all the cutlery. <laughs> okay, currently you only have the one ballista functioning. So you're gonna grab a bunch yeah. of cutlery here. 
We're gonna grab the cutlery. Okay. We're gonna throw it. We're gonna throw it in a bag. Get it in a pillowcase or something. And then I need you to attach it to the ballista and shoot it right at the wings. Okay. What are you this, guys just standing here for? This will be the uh, last bad idea. The last action to do so if you decide to do this, because it will involve running down there, grabbing all of the things, coming back, loading the ballista, and by this point in time, that ship is gonna be close. Okay. Tri Triple right. A will try to stumble down the stairs to find color. I'm it on back. it, boss. They're too. <laughs> I, I look around. Uh, no, no, hold on. That's not gonna work. They're getting too close. All right. Okay. We're gonna hide. You're gonna we're hide. Gonna, we're, we're gonna what? We're gonna hide. And when they come on board, we're gonna take them out. One at a time. So where do you intend to hide here? Not Bye, on the boss. top deck. I curl up into a ball and I will use my uh my chameleon carapace ability yeah so you hide in plain sight <laughs> yep that's a good one okay I, chameleon um, oh i can't do i can't you can't i can't cast astral fire on a place right it has to be on a person astral fire what does that do um, for everyone at home that is, it is, so it's one of three things, but I have Sacred Fire, or Sacred Flame. Sure. Which, uh, I do believe it is, uh, it is a spellcasting ability mm -hmm. where I can cast, let me see, does it show me something else here? You know one of these cantrips. So you're talking about knowing Sacred Flame? Yeah. Okay. Sacred Flame, yeah. Sacred Flame is a, a, a spell that creates a flash of uh, radiant energy in an area to scorch your uh, your opponents. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, does it, yeah. Does it have to be targeted on an opponent? Uh, you could target it on an area. It tends to, I believe it, it's like as against a creature is the, the specific wording. Right, that's what I was... That's uh, yeah. on a creature you can see within range. So you want to okay. like wait and then just blast one of these guys with radiant energy as he comes across? I, I was going to try to slow them down by casting it on the ground, but I don't think that's going to work. There isn't really ground here. You are in space. We have our ship though, right? Because they're going to try to jump on our ship, are they not? Yes. So so you just want to target an area to flash with radiant energy. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, okay. that, that was the question. <laughs> oh. That was the question. It was it sounds like it has to be on a on a on an actual person. Yes. But no, this this uh yeah, this doesn't work. Okay. But the, the, the point I'm trying to make is we we are heavily outnumbered by them. So we have to play the numbers game and we gotta we gotta stealthily take these guys out. <laughs> Says the chameleon. Oh, you're doing fine. <laughs> you're doing fine. You okay. stay right there. And and when I tell you to jump, you jump right. You you. I need you to kick their butts, okay? You just see like this rolling little shell around, like <laughs> wiggling. <laughs> okay, so um, where did did you you said you wanted to hide? Where specifically did you want to try and make that happen? Helene, AAA. Do we have a uh, AAA? You went downstairs, or do you? Are you taking that back well, and doing something else I'd here? I'd started to go down the stairs to get uh -huh. the. Uh, I think that works. Yeah, I, I went downstairs to get the cutlery. So uh, hiding then on I the came stairs. Back up. Now I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just I'm just below the stairs, like underneath them. Okay. Okay. Where you can shoot someone in the Achilles tendon. Roll me a roll me a stealth yeah. check. Uh, pine. Armor class up as an action. Change oh. the color. Carapace to mass to Nice. That's a natural 20. Oh, my God. Pine, give me a uh, stealth with advantage. Remember that you have two uh, natural 20 boons today as well. Already gathered for you. Uh, and then, hey. Helene, where do you want to try and, and hide here? I want to go up on the mast. Okay, so you want to start climbing the, the, what, the center mast? You have three. You have yeah. four masts here. So center mast. Okay. Yeah, the center mast. Okay, so you start climbing the mast. Do you want to go all the way up to the, the crow's nest here, or? How tall is this? It's like 35, 40 feet. 35, four, ouch. Um, is, yeah, you're <laughs> on a space galleon. Can I, can like, I, yeah, big. can I um, go to the, like, the, the larger bottom sail? Can I just go to the top of that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so some 20 feet up in the air, sure. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then roll me uh, stealth as well. All right, that's double zeros. Dude, that's rough. Wow, that's. I don't that's know. That's tough. Because I know I'm wearing he heavy, so I'm. Yeah, yeah. It would just be like. Okay. So when you wear heavy armor, you have disadvantage on your stealth rolls. You yeah. gain advantage. So basically, it just cancels out what you're doing by doing the chameleon thing. So it's just a zero. Okay, so, okay. I just wanted to clarify that it was right. I'm it's, like, just uh, <laughs> it's just a zero. So, so Pine, why why is your stealth so um, questionable right now when you're chameleoned up? Uh, because <laughs> because you can clearly see that even though I'm rolled up in a ball, uh, you still see like this shiny silver metal clearly sticking out it's like very bright okay yeah it just it's very reflective at very this point very reflective yeah sure like aluminum right now yeah so it's like you kind of see you kind of see like some of it is like camouflage and then i know where there's like this there's like several huge chunks that are like really shiny are you, are you hiding behind the curtains with your shoes showing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's basically what i'm doing <laughs> okay uh as you all take your positions here the captain looks down all right, I'll try to distract them. Um, buy you some time here. The two ballistas are fired off, impacting the side of the ship, and the last mangonel shot as well uh, for another 36 points of damage, and then the ballista shots for two more sets at 14, dealing 54 total points of damage here. The uh, the Moon Dancer is not looking too hot at this point. So it's yeah. The moth-like ship gets into range here, and leaping across are these armored individuals, again, wearing this somewhat kind of red-looking uh, armor. I'll get the, uh, the whole thing up here as they land on your ship. And the first one calls out, Captain Sartell, you were seen on the doomed planet. We rec recommend your surrender immediately. By order of the Xerixian Emperor, as the astral a recommendation. warriors uh, land here. Yeah, it's only a recommendation. It's fine. It's probably fine. I would love little initiative rolls from my friends here. Uh, click oh, your boy. tokens first, and then... Oh. It's okay, fine. I'll just go ahead and add yours. But when next time, you click your token first, and then you add your initiative automatically to that. Captain Sartell is going to be added to this too. Um, and so will Flapjack, who is still trying to do the piloting thing. We'll see how well it goes for him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then our Astral Elf Warriors also. Okay. Elena. Captain Elena Sartell pulls out her scimitar here and goes, and she points it down at the one she can see. Well, you're not taking me in. Or my ship. Not today. And with that, Flapjack is going to uh, float up. Oh, he's going to cast Magic Missile and blast this dude from his chair here as he continues to pilot oh, the Jesus. ship gonna hit him for 11 points of damage here. He goes, oh, hey, I haven't used that in a while. That was pretty fun. Uh, and they're going to look around here, and I don't think any of them see you, Pine, except this one here. Turns around and looks at, like, the shards of metal sticking out of the little chameleon ball. Oh, what's that? And begins to, like, stalk up the stairs. This one here is going to fire off a longbow twice at Elena and then is going to close the distance at her. The longbow goes off 20 and 15. Both of these are going to hit Elena for way too much damage. That's going to be 13 total piercing and 20 radiant damage as their blessed weapons impact here. Okay. And this guy is going to come running up this way, trying to avoid the uh, the damage in the hull. Helene, from your hidden portion of the sails, what do you want to do? Um, 
I didn't expect him to open fire just immediately. I was, <laughs> I was hoping to, to lull them into a sense of like, oh, we're fine and safe. He went crazy. So yeah. I, I'm just going to open fire, I think. Okay. Um, uh, except for... I do believe I am running into the same problem that I had last time. Okay. What's up? No, it's fine. Um, no, no, it's okay. Um, I'm going to cast magic missile at the the one that is uh that i think saw pine pine because yeah. i think that's where because i i'm assuming i would assume that i know where pine saw is yeah so to hopefully just guessing one of the two which one has the likelihood of seeing pine uh, i just i cast a magic missile at it okay sounds good so go ahead and you roll magic missile here. You'll roll it three times for the three separate bolts of energy. Two, four, and four for 10 total points of damage here. Uh, and he looks up and goes, oh, hey, there they are. One's hiding in the sails. As he turns around to regard Helene up in the sails. All right, Helene, you're kind of just hanging on the sail up 20 feet here. You have a bonus action and yeah. movement remaining. What do you want to do? Nothing yet. Nothing? Okay. I'm staying right there. Yep. Captain Elena Sartell is going to utilize her scimitar here to make uh, two attacks and then one with an offhand dagger against the uh, the astral elf that has approached here. 14, 14, and 19. Only the dagger is going to find the mark against the armor for five. Triple A, from your somewhat hidden position as you're swaying back and forth in the uh, the bowels of the ship here, what do you want to do? Me? Uh, triple A. No. Mm. Okay, I was just saying, yeah, I was like, sorry, I'm pretty I'm sure thinking. it was triple A. No, yeah. no, it's okay. Sorry, I was thinking. Uh, well, it seems like we're not hiding anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna... you're currently hidden if you wanted to, like, try and make a, a surprise yeah. attack against someone. Hmm. Well, I would like to do that. I don't think I want to be able to get up anywhere to surprise <clears throat> anybody. Well, so basically, you're like, just your little hats poking out from the, okay. the little the little spot here. So like basically you just like look up and do something and hopefully right. take them there, by there surprise. There are holes in the in the hull though, yeah? It's in the deck. Yes, there's plenty at this point. Well, if if I can can I access like under this area here? From where I'm Okay, at, where sure. I'm you down. like you run down the stairs and then, you know, look up the hole to see if you can see something? Sure. Yeah, yeah so we'll say that you're a level lower here looking up through this hole. Okay. Yeah. Can I see this guy? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's gonna have some some partial cover because you're trying to fire through a hole here, but you can see him. Uh, <laughs> I want to try to shoot him in the back of the legs <laughs> with my gun. Okay. Yeah. With Take advantage. Surprising him here. Okay. With advantage. Uh. That's a twenty. 20? Absolutely, will hit. As the gun goes off here, uh, it's going to deal uh, 10 damage plus nice. I have uh, I have my arcane firearm. So, um, wait, no, wait, that's that's a that's a spell. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we've got yours correct here. Yes, uh, OK, yes, yeah. So that's so movement ten. and action. Triple A. Is there anything else you want to do? I think you don't you have two. I two don't attacks have here? two attacks. Oh, okay. One. Not yet. All right. Um, and I think I, yeah, I already used my Eldritch Cannon, so no bonus action. Okay. Uh, the one that uh, noticed Pine and now has been distracted is going to pull out their bow and fire up at Helene uh, with a long bow here. Uh, you do have partial cover, Helene, so it's going to give you a plus two to your your armor class. So it's going to be a six and a 14 with the cover of the sails. Both of these will miss, fortunately. They do tear through the sails and the uh, you know the crossbar at your, at your height here, but fortunately, you are unharmed. Pine, what would you like to do? Let me see how far they are real quick. Yeah. He's distracted, right? Yeah, currently. 
So I have a question. What's up? So... Would it... Would I have to do a strength, uh... Check, or I'd have to... I assume I'd have to contest the strength check with, uh, the... One that was coming up to check on me if I were to pick him up and throw him. You can do a shove action, and that is exactly what that is. All right. Uh, I will waddle my down. little self. Yeah, I'm going to go five, wait, five, ten, 15. Uh-huh. And then you want to shove. 20, and I would like to... Uh, I would like to shove them. Yeah. So and I'm assuming that they're also taken by surprise, so I don't know if that has anything. I don't think that has any, like, benefit to it. Um, so you're pretty loud when you wear your armor and, like, get up off the ground here, right? Because okay. you're doing a thing. So you're going to jingle, oh, right. jangle your fight, way yeah. down. <laughs> and so he's going to get the warning, right, that you're here. But yeah. he looks back and he goes, oh, I knew someone was up there. And then you try to shove him. So go ahead and roll me athletics. Uh, okay. I'll go, ah, get off my ship, ah! That's a 19. I rolled a nine? So he gets shoved <laughs> five feet backwards here, and I'm going to roll a dexterity saving throw for him. Uh, he rolls a seven, and as soon as he gets off the ship here, the plane of gravity that exists in the bubble around the, the spell jamming ship uh, takes hold of him, and he drops, poof, 10 feet down and begins to oscillate on the gravity plane just outside the ship. <laughs> Stuck here. Nicely like done. A, like a streamer. <laughs> it's just like, foof, foof, just up and down. Yeah. Just like a flag. Yeah. Like a streamer. Just yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love it. Get on my ship. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> All right, Pine, that's action and some of your movement. What else you want to do? I will... Let's see here. 20, and I believe it's 30. So I, uh, yeah, I'll just stay right here. Yeah. And that's what okay. I'll do. Excellent. The other uh, Astral Elf Warrior goes, Oh, hey, don't do that, and runs forward. I suggest you surrender, and then is going to make <laughs> multiple longsword attacks here against you. I will make this really, like, high... Pitch, like chittering bug noise, like oh, wow, yeah, my ears. <laughs> uh, the first is going to be a 15, the second is a nine. I believe the 15 does so, impact you here. 15 is my armor class, so yes. I think I'm pretty, yeah, so they mm -hmm. pass it, and then the, the nine will not make it. The nine will not, the 15 will hit for but before, go ahead. but I would like to use a uh, warding flare, yes, okay. So I interpose divine light between myself and an attacking enemy, yes. Uh, to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so you ward the flare, summoning your divine light. Let's see if he's able to do it here. Disadvantage you, on this. Did you flashbang him? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah, like I pretty much was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> There's a flash <laughs> of light, and that's an 11 now. And then the 11, so he misses on the 11, and on the 9, he's like, oh, I, can't, I can't see anything. <laughs> nice. Well done. Okay. All right. That you, you can't do anything. Flapjack. Flapjack at the top here is going to continue driving the ship and then is going to attempt to get away from the ship here. Okay. So at the top of the turn order, because guess who's still here? A barrage of ballista bolts strikes towards the ship. I need dexterity saving throws from Helene. Aline, you are currently hanging onto the side of the, the, the mast here, so keep that in mind. And then Pine, the beam. a dexterity saving throw as well as the ballista shots go off here. Okay, an 11. That bolt, Helene, impacts the mast beneath you, cracking into it for 12. Pine, unfortunately... That's not very good on the save, but the bolt will miss you as it impacts up here, past you, showering both you and this astral elf with some shrapnel, six piercing damage as it explodes into the ship here. The kid there. Continuing to tear through the ship. 
Uh, you can see the uh, the two crews of humans kind of like functioning on these ballista across where the uh, the moth like ship is. You can see that there are also some crew members preparing to throw what looks to be a rope towards the guy who's just oscillating in space out here now. Uh, Flapjack is going to move this direction a little bit and use his tendrils to try and chalk him as a 15. Unfortunately, he'll just miss. Uh, the Astral Elf Warrior, seemingly surrounded here, is going to strike out twice, once at Flapjack, once at Elena. Uh, and he will shout out down below as well. Hey, the below deck shooting upwards, be careful! And then he'll notice his friend floating out here in nothing. Uh, it'll hit Flapjack. Flapjack's gonna go down. Ah, Flapjack, Flapjack is unconscious. Splat into the ground. Unfortunately, uh, the other one will miss for him. No. Elena will dodge out of the way. Helene, as you're up here on the mats, oh, no. you watch as Flapjack goes, oh, oi, I've been hit, and then falls down. <laughs> <gasps> what do you want to do? Um, is the is the mast falling at this point, or is it just uh, It is definitely cracked in the middle. Any extra additional yeah. like weight or pressure to this is going to probably cause it to start falling. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, um, I'm gonna get down off this thing. Yeah. Um, okay. But it is, it is I, twenty I'm feet not... to the ground. Yeah. So I'm actually going to do my fancy little portal. Yeah. Uh, starlight step. Bonus action. Starlight from... step. Yeah, to get from the top of the mast mm -hmm. to... It's the same distance, really, but um, as close as I can to um, to Flapjack. Yeah, And okay. kind of get try to get in between him. I don't think I can yet. In between him and the, uh, and you, the soldier. Well, you can, because he's prone on the ground. So you can just uh -huh. teleport yourself to, like, be over his unconscious body. Okay. Yeah. So you do. You step I through want, the starlight there exactly and appear that. here. Um. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab the guy, and uh, and shock and grasp his uh, his entire body. Yeah, he is wearing metal armor here, so this is with advantage. Let's go. Okay, roll again just in case you get a twenty. Nice, nineteen, absolutely hits. And then. Yeah, so just click the word Shocking Grasp there. I'm just making sure on a hit takes lightning damage and can't take reactions. Nice. Oh, fun. So, you're, yep. Uh, click the word Shocking Grasp underneath the oh, 19. Wait. Underneath the 20. Oh, 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 oh Any there. of those on the uh -huh. in the chat there? The word Shocking Grasp. I'll just take that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For six. As he goes, gah, 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 and takes six points of lightning damage and can no longer take reactions. That's my bad. All good. That is your bonus action and action here. Anything else you'd like to do, Helene? Uh, no, I'm gonna stay in front of uh, Flapjack here. Okay. And uh, protect, I can't attempt to protect it with my body. Yeah. All right. Uh, Elena here will kind of reach down and is going to grab Flapjack underneath you and move him away. Uh, over like probably back this direction and is okay. going to attempt to like medicine check him here and see if she can't stabilize him in his wounds. So she will be working on that. Triple A from below decks. Okay, uh, what is, uh, so I'm down here. What do I, what do I see when I'm down here? What, what kind of stuff's down here? What kind of stuff is down here? Like I said, uh, Elena was definitely traveling light. What's down here? Refugees. People, 30 people are down here. Some of them are dead. <laughs> okay. As manganel stones have torn into the side of the ship. Um, the crew quarters, crew quarters are here. So there's like some, you know, hammocks and storage space and things like that. There is some, you know, like barrels of food, stored food. The kitchen is down here. Uh, you know, fresh water barrels, things of that nature. But like, Nothing overly much. There are store storage places for ballista bolts and manganel stones as well. I'm gonna, uh, uh, hey, uh, you uh, over here, come here for a second. 
I just get to point to one of the refugees uh -huh. and have them get down on all fours here so I can stand on their back. It's an old man and he comes forward. Oh, hey, what is <laughs> it? Hey, just right down here, please. There's a lot of commotion here. Uh, uh, just, you just, you just, you just, uh, you just down here on all fours, please. Uh, oh, hey. Shakily gets yeah. down onto all fours. All right. Uh, just, uh, just don't move, okay? This is, uh, just trust me, you don't want to get any part of this. As I'm gonna stand on top of him and try to stick my head out of this hole. He's shaking quite a lot, AAA, and okay. your equilibrium is off. <laughs> yep. Roll me a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Okay. Oh, no. We'll take a 14. That's good uh, enough for wait. me. It's a disadvantage with a seven, but I have, uh, I have. You have a thing? Thing, I have a thing. Flash of genius? Uh, Is that no, a thing? No, 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 it's, it's, the, it's another thing. Uh, There's more things. There's a different thing built for success. You can add a D4 to one attack or ability check uh, after seeing the the result so i'll add a d4 to this attack or ability check is it specific on those uh, it might have been saved Here, hold on let me see actually you're right let me look uh or saving throw okay saving good throw. roll it up roll high a ten That's a three. yeah ten will do it just enough go ahead oh, 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 oh steady there old timer I, i'm not as Easy. steady as i used Easy. to be uh, <laughs> and i'm going to uh like climb up here yeah, I'm, but I'm not climbing up. I'm st I'm still just standing on his back. <laughs> okay. I'm just poking my head out of the top, uh -huh. and I just I just look at this guy, and uh, you know the uh, you know the worst part about uh, uh, spell jamming is is a terrible seasickness. As I open my mouth extra wide, and my head back, and like a, a like a nozzle sticks out of my mouth, and I'm gonna tosh his caustic brew in a, <laughs> in a line this way. Oh God. Uh, okay. And he's got to make a, uh, a dex save, I believe. Okay. Oh, that's, that's okay. It's a DC 16. Dex save here. He rolls a seven. So he'll okay. take the three acid damage up front here. Uh, with failing this, the, the save here, uh, he takes acid damage every turn until at he the, scrapes it off. At the start of every, yeah. uh, every single turn. So 2d4. Oh, uh, so it takes three there and then is, is covered in acid. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's it for my turn as I'm still just balancing on this old man's back. <laughs> okay. He's down there like, oh ah, let's happy to help. All right. His wrists are broken. His <laughs> knees are <laughs> his not working. His knees are broken. I don't know how much I weigh as a, I mean, auto gnome, but I've also completely made a metal. <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're thick, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, okay. The copper's pretty heavy. <laughs> this, this astral elf floating out in space here, uh, a rope has been thrown to him by the other crew. He's going to make a dexterity save to grab it. So he does have the rope and he's going to start like pulling himself up in a way towards the other ship, kind of like off our off our map here, that direction. Pine, you're still in melee with this elf here. What would you like to do? Uh, after I flash banged him and make like really weird, loud, high pitched, like clicky noises, like clicky bug noise, because I don't want to like actually, because I speak through telepathy, so I don't even yeah. want to talk to him. I just like, I'm just at this point, like, yeah, just, yeah, go away. Uh, awesome. I will use blindness and mm. deafness. Okay, uh, which, so you can blind or deafen, choose a creature you can see to make a con save. He's either blind or deaf. All right, so I'm gonna roll the con save here, DC 15. Oh, they're not good at this. That is a two. That is a two. So they are blind. They're blinded. I like I take something out of my really greasy, icky pouch, and I take it, and I just like, you just, like my splatter hands, them. Just throw it. Yeah, I just like throw it at them. Okay, you're now concentrating on the uh, the blindness that you've caused here. That is your action. What else would you like to do, Pine? Uh, let's see here. I think that was because I don't have uh, anything else. I really well, actually. Well, he's blinded, so he technically doesn't get an attack of opportunity. Uh, he can attempt to. It will be a disadvantage because he oh. can hear you like move okay. away. Oh yeah, because I'm clink clink clink. Okay, yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna move like right over here. Okay, you're still within range here, so he doesn't get one. If you move away okay, cool. from him, he would get one. I start kind of like waddling to the side. How'd like, you go? Where are you? <laughs> I'll get you, stupid bug. That will be the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Uh, he is indeed blind. It is going to lash out wildly around him here at disadvantage. 
Uh, as a 12 and a 6, you just, like, just click, 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 click around him here, avoiding everything. Okay, uh, Flapjack, unfortunately, Elena was unable to stabilize him at this point, is going to roll a death save behind the GM screen. Flapjack, our camera goes over, one of his little eye stalks rolls around and opens an eye and goes, Hi, I'm feeling all right. I think I might be able to you know, take up the whole spell jamming thing again. Oh, hello, Captain. How's it? How's it going? Everyone winning? What's it? I need a nap. And he's good. He rolled a natural 20 on his death save. Oh, we are good to go. Nice. All right. The top of this astral else turn, the caustic brew will do what? 2d4? So you want to roll 2D4. that for me? Yep. See how much damage he he's takes at the top. Six. Six. Nice. And he's going to go give two attacks, one to each of you. Uh, okay. He'll take the six damage here. He swings out wildly with the sword. He is looking pretty hurt at this point. You guys keep fucking stabbing him and hitting him with acid. Um, <laughs> against triple A, it is an 18 to hit for four slashing and 12 radiant damage. I will uh, react on shield. Nice. Okay. So you'll be able to block that there. Yep. Against Helene, it is a 20 to hit for nine slashing and eight radiant. Again, as the blade flares here. He's covered in acid and continuing to burn. It's looking pretty rough. And as you look around, you can see his eyes on, like through the slits here, Helene, since you're up on his level. And he's definitely looking for a way out. Like, considering the jump back to the other ship here. Okay, Helene, what would you like to do? Hmm, that's interesting. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, <clears throat> uh, I say enough with this magic. I don't want to do this anymore. And so I pull out my rapier and I stab him. Okay! <laughs> roll, roll to stab! A 12! Unfortunately, a 12 is not going to be... Wait, all right. Helene, you are a rogue. Do you want to steady aim to before you I do I can steady aim melee. Oh, I yeah. That. Yep, you sacrifice yeah, your bonus action and your that. movement. All right, roll it again for advantage. Before I go ahead and arbitrate this. 10, all right, it's a 12. Unfortunately, he bats it to the side. He goes, I'm not done yet. <laughs> not done yet. All right. I Elena mean, does take pretty much everything. You get the one strike, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. that's that's about it. Elena here. Uh, oh, Flapjack's okay. We'll be all right. And she looks across. He's like, those ballistas are about to take fire again. We need to be careful. And she is going to run this direction. Pine, do you need some help? But Pine's not here. So Pine says yes. And uh, <laughs> she's going to run this way and throw a dagger at the blinded astral elf, which will hit for four piercing damage here. Okay. Nice. Good dagger. Triple A. You note that the uh, ballistas are about ready to fire. What do you want to do? Oh, oh boy. Well, if this guy's still here in front of me, I'm still balancing on this old man. Yeah. Uh, ah! I think I'm yeah. Hey, uh, 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 just whoa. steady there, steady there. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can hold this. It's been a long time since they've had me on all fours. Just remember what it was like to be young. Uh oh, <laughs> I know those days. Because I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a pistol shot. Uh, uh at point blank range here. Um, do you have yes. the gunner it, feet? It, it, it is my, uh, I believe, hold on, let me see, I think this, um, Sentry's Rest, right tool for the job. It'd probably disadvantage, I think. Yep, uh, I think I so. Remember, I'm not, I'm not seeing a thing to make it not happen. No, I think it's, I think it's the, wait, 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 hold on, was it my infusions? Maybe not. Uh, yeah, the, uh, so repeating shot ignores the loading property, but does not ignore loading. the That's right, that's right. Yep, okay, disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just pulling out the pistol and taking a shot. All right. Uh, oh, 17. That, that'll do. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Five. 
Five! As it, and it kind of ricochets a bit off of the armor there, but you still hear him cry in surprise at the, the bullet piercing through. I just look at the gun. Huh. I thought that was going to do a lot more. <laughs> I thought it was too. All right. Uh, that guy's gone. Triple A, what do you want to do? Uh, that's, I think that's it Action. for my turn. You're going to stand there? Uh, roll that's me another right. deck save as you stand on the old man's shaky back. Yo, yeah, of course. <laughs> Ah, I can't hold it much longer. Fourteen. You're good to go. My old man's gonna make an athletics check. He's good. All human right, pyramid. good job, oh, old yeah. man. He's good. All right. The human pyramid check. You're doing great down there, bud. Pine. Uh, Elena is coming to assist you. She threw a dagger at this guy, and it hit him. It's now sitting in his chest. Okay. Uh, I will. <laughs> uh. Shove him. <laughs> you want to just push him back into the hole? <laughs> All right. Roll, roll the, the athletic shit. His is going to be a disadvantage because he doesn't know where you're coming from. Oh, God. Okay, he rolled he's a blind, four. He's got a dagger in his chest. He rolled a four and he falls into the hole. There's a shout of surprise as there's a clatter of metal onto the ground here. He goes, oh, and he'll take, he'll take a good six. Why not? D, uh, a D6 worth of falling damage. He takes one point as he hits the ground down there, still blinded. And there's a, a bunch of shouts from the uh, the refugee commoners that you saved as he has fallen onto the ground. Okay. Anything Can else? Do you want to, like, go jump on him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I, I, can, can I go roll and jump on him? Uh huh. So you run in and jump down. Uh, you're gonna take some bludgeoning damage for falling on him, but he'll take it again. Uh, it'll be three for both of you as you land on top of him, and he gives a nice. Ooh, ooh. What else would you like to do? I'm just gonna sit on him. Okay. He's been <laughs> sat. He's underneath you. Um, goodness gracious. I'm very small, but I am extremely, I, I'm ex extremely heavy. Dense. Okay. Uh, Dense. He needs to make a con save from the last Fluffy. turn. See if he is blinded or he is still blinded from the last one. Okay, so from here, he's going to start sweeping out like a, a, on top of him. This is all a disadvantage to try and hit you. That's a five and a five. There's a bunch of, whoa, whoa, watch out for the blade. Oh, he's swinging wild down here. Get off of me. Um, he is restrained underneath you and cannot move and is blind. And I'm gonna, I guess he, we get to roll to see if he's no longer blind after this. It's not been going well. That's a seven. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> All right. Flapjack I'm gets up. Him. He goes, oh, why? Uh, no, I'll just uh, <clears throat> take, take over piloting again. Uh, let's just move over this way. And he starts really quickly trying to draw the ship over and away from here. At the same time, the ballistas are ready to fire. Uh, and they're going to be targeting who they can see, which is going to be Elena and Helene. You're both on the deck here. So with that, the shipboard ballistas are fired. <laughs> they're going to miss horribly. That's a seven and an eight as Flapjack deftly pilots away from the fired ballista bolts. Good to go. Okay. Our uh, Astral Elf Warrior here is gonna roll, or I need a 2d4 for the acid. And then he's gonna, he's gonna look to just leap out into the nothing. You wanna give me the acid damage there, AAA? Oh, sorry, yeah. I forgot that I was rolling that. All good. <laughs> Not seven. seven. Yeah, he's not looking good. Uh, oh. He's, he's, yeah. You see his, like, bits of him are starting to melt off his body from the acid. It's not good. He's going to take the disengage uh, action here and leap out into the gravity space here and begin to oscillate between them and, it's, like, attempting to brush off the acid as he can. Helene, what would you like to do? Oh, he's just, he's just leaving? Oh yeah, he's trying to get out of here. This has not gone well. That means that there's only one person left on the ship. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, <laughs> I I I'm gonna run to Pine Saw. <clears throat> okay. 
to ju to just kind of see what's going on over there. Cause uh, the, I want I want to I want to quickly interrogate this guy if we can. This last one. Okay, so you want to like help with maybe tying him up or something like that? Yeah, but I think it's gonna take me two turns. Uh, so you are a rogue, so you can move, and then you have a bonus action dash. Yeah. Right. So is that gonna be enough? You have 60 feet of movement with just that. Oh, I was, oh, oh, I thought it was another 10. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to go do that. I want to go there, uh, and then like drop down up. by pine. And, and yeah, then you can use your action to restrain him with some rope. Uh, <laughs> he's when, I, when I get there, when I get there, I'm a little surprised, and I'm like, wait, you didn't kill him? I did it. I got him. I got him. You did? You did? Good Good job. Well, let's, let's, can we time? We gotta moving. time up. We, what? Is he alive? He, uh, he is very are much you alive. alive. Hey! I'm hey, alive, hey, yo! Yeah, get like, off of me! I'm and slapping him with bo with all four of my little hands. Are you awake? Are you awake? Yeah, I'm on. Wait, stop it! And Helene, you okay, like shut go up. down and, and, and bind don't, his don't hands struggle. here. Uh, and yeah, he is, he is ostensibly captured. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Elena is gonna look out over the edge here and says, and that's right, and never come back, huh? Yeah, I gave him a good what for, that was, that was pretty good. Triple uh, A comes up the stairs here. What are you doing, like standing on this old man? <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry, it's just uh, all, all part of the plan. Uh, uh, it made a lot more sense uh, before. Uh, can you get off here. of me? Uh oh, sorry about that. Uh, Triple A's gonna climb. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Out of this. Yeah. And stand you just up. Just lift here. yourself up over here. Did this guy floated away? Is he gone? He's he's floating away. Do you want to take like a pot shot at him as he goes? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, fire away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, don't worry. Uh, <clears throat> just one second, Captain. I'll be right with you. So he... this is with advantage because he physically cannot move in the space. Like he's beholden to the gravity here. So, uh, I uh, I rip open that revolver and I spin it, and as it's spinning, I uh, I start loading in some uh, just nonchalantly ro loading in some red ammunition, um, and I'm gonna cast scorching ray at him through my gun. Um, okay, <laughs> roll and, three. So that is uh, 26 to hit. 26 on the first. I mean, you might as well roll uh, all three here, right? Yeah, that's that's true. 26. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no, no. All right, the ninth. All right, that's fine. The last one goes through the hole you already made in his body where he died after the first, more than likely. He had one health left. That's so, okay. oh yeah, he's dead. He's so, his, also, his could, corpse uh, goes drifting away. I fired it through my away. magic weapon, I can throw a D8 on it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes drifting away here and it looks like the, the moth uh, stylized ship is uh, collecting what they can and is moving away quickly from the moon dancer here. This leaves us with a captured astral elf warrior from the Xerixian Empire and a very good place for us to take a break. So when we come back, potentially an interrogation. Well done on your first ship combat. Hopefully it was fun. We will be right back. And welcome back to Spelljammer Adventures in Spasse. We just, Spasse. we fought. We fought and we won. We did. And now our super competent heisting crew has captured one of these astral elf warriors. It's currently being held in the uh, mid decks of the Moon Dancer. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to walk up to him and start like opening his eyes, you know, and like yeah. opening his mouth. And... So you you take off his 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 helm here, and you see you know a beautiful astral elf man, um, long white hair, kind of tied up into a bun there, uh, hidden underneath uh, the hood that he wears for the helm itself. Uh, deep, like, black eyes that you swear you can see stars in. Uh, he wakes up, finally get the, like, the goop off his face where he was blinded. 
<sighs> All right. Well, what do you want then? What are you gonna do? Kill me? I have a child with your eyes. I I'm like in there, like yeah. opening his eyes, <laughs> like look at him, like like really close with my like bright, murky, white eyes, just like. <laughs> Oh, oh, I always feel so uncomfortable around Thrycreen. Your eyes are so interesting. I make a clicky noise. Oh. I think I can see light in your eyes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it comes with the territory of being an astral elf, I think. Like, yeah. Nods a head over to Helene. Like, you can see some there, too. Yeah, wait, stay still. But and I'm going to lift up his upper lip. Ah! Look at his teeth. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like lower. I'm gonna uh, pull down the bottom lip from like. Yeah. They got weird insides. I, I, I think they're pretty normal. No. No. <laughs> what, what, what do you think, Pinesol? Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna. Go ahead and I'm gonna like turn his head to the side. I'm gonna take my hand or one of my hands. I'm gonna poke inside his ear. No, oh, no, don't do that. And That's I'm so gonna like stick it out and I'm gonna go. Oh. <laughs> this is the weirdest interrogation I've ever been a part of. I'll be honest, they didn't train us for this. Hey, hey. I think he, I think you can talk to him. Yeah, I think he's okay. All right, all right, so this is simple. If you don't answer my questions, our friend Pine Saul is going to keep exploring your body and finding things. I've Doing never felt experiments. more uncomfortable in my entire immortal existence. Well, there you, there you go. It's that simple. <sighs> so I need to know one thing. Yeah. Who sent you? Order of Emperor Zavon of the Xerixian Empire. Under what orders? Well, the orders are to propagate the astral seeds. Triple you got something? Uh, I'm sorry, do what with the what? <sighs> We are to travel to worlds and drop astral seeds on them where the vines and the astral blights will feed on the planet's energy and that of its flora and fauna until they are only yeah. dead husks. The energy is then transmitted to in a single enormous burst of light back to our home to be absorbed by Xerixis. I slap his mouth shut. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I think he's talking about the house plants. Yeah, yeah. He's the, they're the people that that started this. What we don't, what, what do we think about that plant song? Oh. Well, normally house plants are nice and stuff, but those ones over there, one of them bit me. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a really good idea. It's this it's this guy's fault and all their their. Yeah weird group that of you know i don't really trust i don't really trust any uh astral elves myself but <laughs> i'll tell you right now the dangerous what 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 are you laughing at what what no nothing clearly not xerixian makes sense no never never ever we'll see what i'm not uh quite understanding you might have to uh, catch me up here but uh, so you want to plant a bunch of seeds on a bunch of planets and, and harvest the energy. That's that's all fine and very elaborate. Uh, but what does that have to do with us? Uh, we sent warnings out to various captains to not interfere in the space. It was noted that your galleon made away from the planet before its consumption. We were ordered to reduce the witnesses. Yep. Yep. Typical, typical elves. 
We gotta have everything the way they wanted to, and as soon as you step out of line, you're toast. This is that we don't, we, guys, we don't deal with this. Well, I mean, he's got a point. Uh, after a, a job or or <clears throat> something of a, a space battle in nature that we just had, uh, uh, getting rid of the witnesses is a fantastic idea. As he he throws open his coat to reveal his revolver again. <laughs> <laughs> You think we can, uh, you know, uh, in still like picking and poking at his face and stretching his cheeks and stuff ah, like that, the ears uh, and stuff? Stop it, stop it. Do you think ah. we could like save his tongue and his eyeballs? Oh, I'd like to keep those, please. Uh, I mean, they're not really yours anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he not, won't be his, soon. Go ahead, roll me, roll me an intimidation check at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrifying. <laughs> it's not gonna need a blow. Oh, it's a five. All right. Yes. Oh, well, they still belong to me for now. <sighs> what are you even gonna what, do what with you, me? What, huh? what do you think's going on here? What do I think is going on? You, you, you're not going anywhere. Like, well, you're gonna, kill you're gonna me, tell then? us. You're gonna tell us where your your friends are, and that's gonna be it. It for what? Am I gonna live after this, or should I just endure the torture and then die? Torture? What? I mean, Dying? What? My man! I put my arm. I put one of my arms <laughs> around him, and then I take one of my arms. And I just pat on his chest. My man. That's like. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. That's. That's harsh. I'm just gonna scoop your eyeballs out. You still live. Just be a little blind, you know? You should be used to that, friend, by now. Yeah, friend. Oh, I don't like the sound of it. At all. Well, I mean, we, we don't really like the sound of you planting seeds everywhere either, you know, but I'm, you know. Well... You a little late for the world you came from. There's no way to stop the process. Well, what's the... Uh, you said the light was being uh, consumed uh, uh, or feeding something. Uh, what, what's, Our what's star, Xerixis, in the center of Xerix space, is dying. We have been ordered by the Emperor Zavon to use these astral seeds in an effort to transfer light and energy back to our star. Yeah, they, they think they're all special and they can take whatever they want. It's the it's You're dying to steal light? I don't want to, I don't want to cast a, a bunch of blame around, but didn't we just take a giant ruby? That's, that's not light, that's different. That's not light, that's well, different. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, we taking what we want, they take what they want. I mean, yeah, I know, but they're kind of destroying so a whole bunch of planets. We stole from rich people. It's fine. Yeah, it's different. It's different. I don't know. And not the same. What's uh, the word? I don't I guess, know if I have any say in it. I feel like there's some similarities here. Shush, shush. You're, I'm your sorry, job, are you, are you actually, are you, uh, you can't be serious right now, right? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet. I mean, Can I'm just saying, you know, like you, you're, uh, you're just taking, what... you're just taking, you know, light from a planet, and the planet is dying, yes. and you destroy the whole planet and its yes. inhabitants yes. to save your own, yes. instead of you know you all colonizing a different planet. Oh, so you'd you know? rather us be colonizers then? Well, oh, I'm right. at a planet that's not actually you know inhabited by anything. We're the people, yeah, exactly. You're elves. You're smart and stuff, and fancy, and, and <laughs> with your nose and everything, and your ears. When the emperor demands. We do as the Emperor wills. The Emperor, Emperor, show that Emperor what, what, what's up. Well, is this, <clears throat> you know, obviously uh, you had to get rid of the witnesses. I understand that. Uh, is this going to continue to be a problem for us as we traverse uh, Spase? Potentially. Uh, you did let the uh, ship get away and the captain is still aboard. So more than likely, yes. The uh, leader of the 
forces in our system here is Commander Vale. Most of the fleet's begun back to Zarek space, but, um, well, the Dark Star, the ship you ran off, is still around. Potential for it to come back, you know? Especially if you happen to have a, uh, well, prisoner on board. A valuable what one. Think a lieutenant, Where's maybe. The, wait. wait, who's the prisoner? Valuable? How valuable are we talking? Who's the prisoner? Yeah. Valuable enough to keep alive until we get to wherever you're going and then drop off? Wait, who's the prisoner? I, I am. Uh... That's your name? Prisoner? No. It's not a very nice name. No, my name. Goodness gracious. He looks around at you and he's like, are they always like this? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> my name is Lieutenant Xanth. Bless you. <laughs> Do you want some ice cream, Lieutenant Xanth? What is He's an ice cold. cream? <laughs> never, never mind. Uh, Pine Salt makes that, you know, on the side. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the goopy stuff. You're pretty good. It's not made of astral elf pieces, is it? Oh, gosh, you want no. It to be? No, no, absolutely not. Oh, I wouldn't do that. It probably tastes really bad. Yeah, yeah I taste awful really terrible uh, that's the thing about immortal beings um, we're alive for so long everything just tastes old yeah but don't they say that that's good with like wine or something that's not true he's lying he's lying to you pine Sol. no i know i tasted his earwax <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> i don't have taste buds so uh, you know i'm willing to try oh, this is okay. right so what, what do you intend then huh You've got me captured here. Would you, uh, Pinesaw, what Wait, do you think tastes better? The eyeball or the tongue? I mean, you know, for the for the fried cream, you know, tongue is a delicacy. You could boil it, you know, you could like, you know, cook it, you know, with some potatoes and stuff. It is really good. Yeah. 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 Especially if you marinate it for a while, you know, with like other tongues. It's really good, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm keen to, I'm keen to let her kind of do what it, whatever Pine Saw wants to do with any part of whatever you got going on here. I don't care about you. I want you to tell me how, how can we get rid of these stupid vines on this, on this planet that you, you've you can. infected? There's no way to stop the process. Okay, that may be what the Emperor told you, but really, okay, come on, level with me. You, it, it's... I, You're not going anywhere. Just tell me. I do not know of a way to stop the process. Or at least one that you haven't been told. If, I, right? if there is one, then I do not know it. Okay. Okay. Well, it feeds on light, right? No, it feeds on the life force energy of every planet. Oh, life force. Okay, got it. And then delivers that back to our star Xerixis. Can we, like, feed the life force? Can we feed you to them? I suppose if you drop me off at that planet, then yes, I would be consumed along with everyone else. No, 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 no. That'd be a waste. Because of the tongue thing? <gasps> no, no. Well, no. Mm. Or the no, eyes. You got really pretty. You got pretty eyes. No. Uh, wait, why don't we so. just feed it death? But the what now? He said it did. You know, thrives off of life, right? Can't you just can't we just feed it death? I'm not sure what that means, but I suppose you might. Like you necrotic? Might be a genius. Oh, you want to bring you a bunch might. Of it's dead like bodies? poisoning. It's like poisoning the plants. Yeah, like necrotic. You know, bring dead things life and whatnot. I know how to do that kind of stuff. Probably not a large scale though. How, My sister likes all does. How how much would your your boss pay for you? You think? Well, probably a good bit. You did um, kill off one of our number, and depending on how you could make the deal, I, I, I'm sure a few hundred or thousand gold. Guys, well, that's not an yeah. <clears throat> insubstantial sum, but uh, but we give him back, then aren't they just gonna kill us and feed us to the star or whatever? 
Yeah. Not if we're smarter than them. Oh, are you saying kill him and then make him a zombie? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Well, we could do, uh, and, and, and hear me out here, uh, we could, uh, they're looking for this ship, uh, what we could do is we could, uh, we could kill him, potentially, sorry, no offense, uh, n nothing personal. Yeah, uh, understood. And then we could uh, blow up the ship and fake our own deaths. I <laughs> Elena from should... above deck goes, I heard that! No one's blowing what? up the ship. It's, it's sorry, Captain. A... Just, just, just brainstorming. We I'll just use more brain loud. power than that. We don't have much. <laughs> to be honest. Does he have any information, much. anyways? And she'll come down the stairs here. So? Yeah, he's what's the, the reason deal? why there's a bunch of house plants on planets and they're dying and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. He's, That's troubling. He's gonna take us to his boss, the one that the one that attacked us. He's gonna take us there. He's going to take right? us there. I yeah. hate to be the bearer well, of bad really news he's not really gonna like here. take us there, but it's more like they're kind of coming to us because we have him. He's like special and stuff. Did you see his eyes? <laughs> he's not special. He does have eyes. I did see that. Well, yes. no, like, have you looked at Have you looked at him? Like, here, look, wait, look, look at that. Look, look, look how bright they are. Sure. See that? She gets real close. Oh, yes. Very pretty. You can see light in them. Aye, I can. Are, um, are his his eyes pretty... Are they the, pretty different than mine? Than Helene's? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, they would... They essentially show a different galaxy, right? Right. Because, like, I, I would... We probably haven't established anything like this, but Helene wouldn't be from their empire, no. but a similar one to why she hates them basically off off rip mm -hmm. it's uh the th immortal beings of this nature seem to like their empires and the astral yeah. elves seem to gravitate towards that pretty heavily um but yes you are not you're not a xerixian right <gasps> so i assume it's a bit different mm -hmm. what, it'd be like what, a, a piece what? of space that you would be able to see from uh xerixis hey twilight yeah. eyes nice slap his back yeah. I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. All right. You say that you and your 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 uh your sparkle boys are going around and planting seeds and stuff, right? Right. Because you need to, you know, regain the life of your planet and all that kind of stuff, right? Yes, that's about it. Okay. What if you hire us to do it? Um now that's an enterprising idea right there. Uh, I, I don't know if you heard me up at the top here, but my name is Lieutenant. I, I don't really have the, the, the pull here. You, you'd have to talk to the oh, Emperor Oh, come on. Himself. You're the Lieutenant. You're a big, strong guy with, you know, a really fancy name and stuff, you know, except for the whole prisoner team part. I don't really understand it. But, like, you know, you can probably... You I not, know not you can pull through strings. strings. Not that important. Oh. There, were, there were three of us on the ship that attacked you. Well... Okay, well, yeah, where are the yeah, other we, two? And we messed up two of them. Well, I mean, a, a recommendation could go a long way uh, from someone within the organization, and, and we, we have a resume. Uh, we actually just pulled a job off. If, if you don't, we, the captain can speak for us. We're yes. not. We're not. They're going to ask for the gem. We're not giving up the gem. No, they're not going to ask for the gem. They, we just need to, you know. They're, they're going to show them. I got it. Why don't we do a test job for you? A test job. A test job. Yeah, you know, you give us a seed, you give us a plan, and we go there, deliver the goods, and then come back. Easy peasy. You want to use this help spread the astral seeds? I mean, if you're gonna pay us. Uh, that is, we could potentially use that kind of help. Yes, but uh, again, this is not a call I can make. I, you'd have to meet with my captain and then the commander. Oh, well, I, I could board. I could board people's ships and try to kill them, but I can't negotiate. All I'm saying, listen. All I'm saying is, there were three lieutenants, and we kept you out of all three of them. Captain, you Captain Sergeant Tell at this point is kind of like giving a, a side eye here, and she goes, "May I speak to you all um, above deck, please, away from um, Sparkle Boys?" Twilight ears. eyes. Yes. 
Okay, okay yeah, we got dumbass. it. Okay. No, sure. his name is Twilight Eyes. Don't insult him. You see those eyes? So they're like pools yeah. of light. Heading back up, um, Sartell will turn to you, August. All right, do me a favor. Take a look around. Moon Dance is not in good shape. We may make no. it to the rock, but we're not making it anywhere else, delivering anything or working for anyone in this shape. We got to no. put in for repairs. Okay. And well, then, if they, if additionally, they, hire us, they could pay for it. I'm, ah, I, I'm sorry. You may all operate in a bit of a gray area morally, but I find uh, a distinct problem with destroying planets for an empire. I don't. Yeah, I don't care. I don't. I don't care about that. I just don't want. I'm not. I. I'm not. I'm with you. I'm not gonna work for no elf empire. That's. It's not fun, guys. I'm, I promise. And honestly, I, I feel a bit obligated here to, um, well, stop them. Well, I mean, that's, how do you want to do that? That's why they're gonna hire us. Wait, no. Right? It's like in the what? show. I. It's like in in that that one like play I watched. You know, when we were trying to like. You know, steal another thing. There was it was at a theater. The guy's like, "Oh yes, I will help you." And then later on, he didn't. Oh, so so like backstabbing them, tricking oh, them. The old double cross. A double cross. Yeah. So they give okay. us the seed. Potentially. And then we yes. take it and we figure out how to dispose of it or stop it. Here's here's the thing. And we deliver it. There's someone on the rock that might be able to help us here. All right. Someone and then we take the money. The Xerixians a little bit better than we do, and maybe can help us make this decision. Again, I we could try to double cross, but you're dealing with the Xerixian Empire here. They are ruthless. If we're found out, there is no end to them chasing us forever. They're literally immortal. Well, they're already chasing us, aren't they? For the time being, but maybe if we drop off their boy and lie low for a bit. No, Anyways. that doesn't work. We need to I head don't know. To the I'm rock. pretty fine. I'm okay with sitting on them, you know, if I have to. Hopefully you don't, but there's someone on the rock we that need... I think can can give us a little insight on the Xerixians. Yeah, we, we right? need info. We need info. All right, all right. a gif named Commodore Crux. Don't know much more than that, but I know him by reputation and, well, used to be uh, quite the sailor and fighter. He knows used a little bit more. Well, he's gotten on in his years but he's on the That's rock the and while we put in that triple was standing on right no it is not <laughs> <laughs> while we put in that for repairs an oak tree. maybe you can go <laughs> speak to him and, and make a decision from there we could we can hold sparkle eyes prisoner for a little twilight. bit sorry twilight eyes all right prisoner for a little bit but <laughs> I don't know. I think holding him's wrong too. Maybe we just kill him, get rid of him, and move on. I think, I think I'm we just kill him. I'm on board with that. Yeah, that, that's. Or if if we're not feeling super up to it, we can you know just throw him overboard. But I mean, I can I, can I take his eyes at least? Are you gonna kill him? You know. I mean, I suppose if you're the one that wants, to, yeah, after you kill him, you could probably take his. No, 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 I don't kill him. Like I'll just take the eyes, you know, and then you can do whatever you want with them. But you know. Uh, this does seem rather brutal. I, honestly, I think I just throw him overboard, or, or, or I don't know. It's not brutal at all. What do you mean? Send it. Oh, we could send him to the magistrate on the rock. I mean, the rock is, you know, kind of a gray area legally, but it does have some law enforcement. We could say that you know they they attacked us there and I don't talk up. to cops. Well, he was he he was right about the fact that uh, you know maybe he does have some value to somebody. I'm not saying we sell him back to the elves, but. Uh, you know, maybe somebody on the rock would want to uh, buy him for the information. Potentially, it's it's a good thought. But anyways, I I I just wanted to drag you up here because I don't feel right helping the Xerixian Empire kill planets. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm not for the idea too. But I was thinking if we get you know well, at least one of their seeds, we could you know. You know, we got we got double D's over here that could like you know maybe use the sciencey stuff you know to figure out how to stop it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm just I'm just along for the ride. So whatever you all decide, uh, I'm with. As long as we get paid, I'm good either way. Triple A is. I was speaking of pay. You again? Are oh we, yeah, she she we, gets her letters mixed up and her numbers. I think. 
Oh. Trip, um, the statue. A while. Triple A, do you still have it? The statue. Right, the the gem. Are we gonna? Oh, the gem. Are we gonna the, sell that thing? Yeah. We, we need the money for the repairs. He's Triple A's gonna literally. Ooh. He's gonna take his whole arm mm -hmm. and stick it down his mouth and just pull that ruby out. <laughs> uncomfortably far down like all down to the elbow <laughs> good ever yeah sartell's like oh all right yeah <laughs> yeah he could fit that, he could fit a lot of stuff in there you know i watched him out. one day yeah yeah pretty crazy pull out the red panda ruby um and you have this impulse here triple a to like give it a lamp rub like you would a genie's lamp hmm got a little smudge yeah. on it yeah yeah I'll take my handkerchief out and polish give it, it a polish and this red smoke comes pouring out of it there and it begins to oh, dissipate no. in your hands uh boss uh i think we got a problem the, does it sound uh, like robin williams the smoke uh. pools on the ground <laughs> and sitting there looking up at you is this raccoon-esque creature a red panda on the deck. Hey, 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 little guy. Its big eyes kind of look at you and puts its little paws up and sits there. What, 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 I mimic what it's doing. Where'd you, where'd you come, where'd you come from? Do you, do you, do you speak? It kind of gives a little like growl, but it does not speak. Uh, I can talk to it, or, uh, Thrykreens talk telepathically. telepathically. Um, yeah. Which I, I believe is, so, telepathically, do they have to know a language? Uh. Must be able to understand at least one it language. It doesn't need to share a language with you to understand your thoughts, but it must be able to understand at least one language. Okay, so you attempt to contact it telepathically, uh, and you basically get a growl back. It turn it seems that this is indeed an animal. Hmm. I got another boss. Uh, maybe maybe you're using the wrong dialect. As as AAA bends down and, and it, yeah, growls it back at it. Turns and it runs behind and underneath uh, Pine Saul's legs and just cowers there. Well, oh, um, oh, hey, apologies. Hey, I think hey, I hey. offended him. Hey, Captain, do you know what, do you know anything about this? Oh, what I do know is that apparently the thing we were going to sell is just this. And I'm not Maybe sure how we're going to repair the ship. Maybe just this. It's still kind of cute. You know, somebody might want to, you know, a little, uh, uh, uh Yeah, all right. He's adorable. Uh, what are you going to do? Name him? Uh, I mean, the, the gem's gone. Don't, no, no. Don't name him. Well, we're naming him. Don't <laughs> name, don't do it. Can we name it Stop? Stop? Yeah, you know. Red light, stop. Oh. Yeah, I guess that, uh, <clears throat> I, I guess so. But here's my question, uh, turning awkwardly to the Captain. If it was a ruby, can't we just make it back into a ruby? I mean, do you know how to do that? Well, I didn't. No. Pine salt. Rub it, rub its face. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna kind of like awkwardly uh, with my with the lower tiny hand, just kind of like go do 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 yeah. on the head. And it it <laughs> leans in and just like nuzzles against one of your hands. Well, that don't work. Working. Maybe if we squish no. it really hard. What? Like like compress <laughs> it, like a, like you know like a. Maybe it'll form back into a, a gym. Uh, I pick it up with my with my uh, lower. Just give it a squeeze. Arms, mm -hmm. and I like hold it up, and I go. Boo. And looks at you with those big panda eyes and kind of rubs at its face a little bit, and yawns. I yawn, in response. <laughs> oh man, tired. Hey, hey, Pine Saw, you still got those snacks? I, I eat them. <laughs> oh. Sorry. 
I think I saw some food uh, over here by the refugees earlier, though. You want you want some food, little? Oh wait, I got stop. honey. Little stop? Is that is that really what we're gonna call? Yeah, it? we're gonna call him little stop. I'm gonna I take my other two hands and I take the jar of honey I have uh, attached to my belt, one of my many belts, and I uh, pop it open. Okay. Is little stop a, a a talk musician or something? I don't know. And I offer it honey. Yeah. Uh, and it's like long tongue will go slurping into the jar of honey. Yeah, I think he likes it. Okay. All right. So. Little Stop is now resting is... comfortably in your uh, secondary yeah. arms. Not only was right. this thing a gem a second ago, it also is a living being. This Maybe is, it's uh... like magical or something, you know? Well, it's got to be valuable if it was uh, <clears throat> up there in the casino. Either way. Yeah. Jim, Panda, doesn't really matter. It'll sell. Maybe it grants wishes or something, you know? I mean, to be honest, it is somewhat, you know, mythical creature. I don't think anyone's ever actually seen one. Oh. So that's, that's kind of cool. So I'm sure there's like a rare market for mythical creatures for... You know, like eating or something. <laughs> can I can I do a um an arcana check on it? Sure. Just gonna see if it's more than just an animal. Yeah. Well, looking at it, it's not marked with any magical runes. It looks to be a raccoon esque creature. Familiarity with red I pandas is that. I mean. When, you know, when I touch it, it just feels like fur and stuff. Feels like fur. It uh, you know, leans into the pets there. It gives little growls and chirps, and uh, it doesn't seem magical on the surface. Let me see. Okay, so you want to cast detect magic? Um, yeah. In your range here currently, the magical things are the uh, spell jamming chair, and. The uh, and yes, the creature in your hands glows with an iridescence of different magical schools. Oh, boss. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It kind of looks like a. Yeah, it kind of looks like space throw up inside of it. <laughs> Space throw up. Yeah, it's like all shiny and, and sparkly and stuff. It's got all type of magic jammed up in this little thing. What the heck? What is it? Interesting. Interesting. So, hmm, and I, I think back to, to see if I can think of any myths I've heard of, of, uh, of, uh, our people, our astral elves, and sure. do, do I do I think of anything where this might, something like this might be referenced? History. Yeah. Can I also roll a history sure. check on that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so specifically for red pan is probably not. Those are pretty high rolls. Uh, in astral elf like history, again, not of this specific creature, but. There are plenty of magical creatures that do exist, especially in uh, in space. Um, so it is not entirely unusual for this creature to exude magic, especially seemingly as it came from some kind of magical object. Um, now, the fact that it has many different schools kind of emanating from it might either be concerning or really positive, depending on how you see this creature. Uh, again, so non-specific for either of the history checks for like this creature, but you are familiar with things like, as an example, like unicorns are you know, have lots of magic. They are a creature and would exude magical properties. It seems seems valuable to me, guys. I think we just take this to the the stone or the. I know who the... might know, and I waddle with waddle with my lower arms, holding a little stop, and we run back to the uh, astral elf downstairs. Uh huh. Yeah, he oh, sees no. you coming down. And you're like holding this little bear, right? What? 
in the stars Hi. is that? This is Lil Stop. Lil Stop. Yeah. Why are you showing me Lil Stop? Is he is he going to eat me? Oh gosh, no, Lil Stop would net well. I don't know, I can't answer that yet. Lil Lil Stop has uh, got magic stuff in him. Uh -huh. You know what he does? I have never seen whatever this is in my very long life. He's really soft. I turn turn the little stop around to the back and I start rubbing the back <laughs> on his face. Oh, uh, oh, yep, yeah, very <coughs> soft. Oh, God, goodness. Why are you sneezing? I think I got some of his air in my nose. His air? Oh. His air. Oh. Did he... F did he, he too did. He too did. <laughs> Are you, are you saying air or hair? Yes. <coughs> the second one. Oh, well, uh, uh, you know. You know, that maybe is a Rixian accent sometimes. So you mm. don't know what this is? No. I think he likes uh, toots. Okay, well, that was kind of like my only kind of idea was that maybe, you know, no. the Twilight Eyes here would know what it is, but I guess I uh, will ever. Well, no, this is from that planet, so we get. There's got to be something there, but I. Well, we should. Uh, there's got to be somebody that knows this. Well, uh, that planet is destroyed, so uh, we're probably not going to find the answers there. But I was thinking, uh, just just had a thought that once we get to the uh, the rock, that uh, you know maybe we could start digging around. Uh, like you said, it's probably valuable. I agree, but uh, you know maybe we should figure out what it does first. Uh, we don't want to under underprice it, you know. It's a good idea. I like I this is why I keep you magic. around. Can you cough up magic, I'll stop? Just like looks at don't, you please big, wide eyes. Just don't hurt it. I'm not gonna hurt it. Here, watch. I'm gonna I would like to cast the the cantrip light and I would like to boop its nose. Uh-huh. And so stop just glows <laughs> with magic. The light just light. Yeah, just Yeah. <clears throat> don't think it works. You just put, you just made it bright. What, what do you, what were you trying to do? To, I just wanted to see if maybe it would absorb magic or something, you know? Maybe it eats it, but I guess not. It just likes honey. Yeah, and probably destroying planets and probably trying to kill us all in our sleep. And probably no, trying him. to, he, he, whatever, he's a big sissy. I don't care about him. Hey. This, this thing's gonna, sh sh shut up, sh sh Shut up. Uh, deal with you later. <laughs> I, I don't... Listen. Listen. I want to get rid of this thing as fast as possible because I don't want to deal with it. I think it's dangerous. But His also name is Lil Stop. A Lil Stop is dangerous because Lil Stop is unknown. An unknown... Uh, 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 valuable in this that I think we should offload as soon as possible and hopefully you know we, we'll cut you know we'll cut the captain in with some but Boss, we pulled off this job I've lived a very long time to know that the unknown is scary because it's unknown mm. that's all the wisdom I got Yeah, sometimes I have these, like, really, uh, uh, clarifying moments, you know, it just kind of pops in my head and stuff, it's, yeah. It's true, the more I get to know you, the, the less I'm afraid of you, and I just want to kind of snap your neck, so, it makes sense. Do you have a neck? Doesn't he? Oh, he, yeah, he has a neck. I thought He's the elf, talking. the elf. I thought yeah, you were sorry. talking about all. The, uh, my mic was Oh, uh, uh, no. he does have a neck. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't want to. I, I don't. I don't necessarily want to hurt the red panda, but Helene is getting is is at the point where it's more. She's more worried about the unknown variable and getting everybody killed more than anything. So she she's trying to convey, I think, to to the the crew that. We can do whatever you guys want with it, but 
I'm st I'm gonna keep my distance. I mean, we're what? I just named. I mean, I named it Little Stop, but it's not ours. You know, we're still selling it. I get it. But you know, it I is mean, full. It is chock full of different magics. Hey, Pine Salt, I you gotta promise me, don't get attached to it, please. I won't get attached to it. No. You promise? Did you know that our names together could be Pine Stop? That is an interesting point. I'm not sure what that has to do with uh, the current topic. Uh, but, I mean, you do, I mean, it, it does have a nice ring to it. Uh, uh, pine, pine stop. Yeah. This, okay, Triple A, do you think we can tour them around as a group? I think Sartell from above here goes, Hey, if you're done interrogating and messing with the little bear, I could use some help. The ship's falling apart what? up here. Yeah, this thing's this thing's toast. I think you should just get rid of it. I'm just saying. Well, then you need to pay me. You should probably just crash it for the insurance money. That's not insured. Well, that who? That's not our fault. That's yeah, not that's, how that's this works. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this work? It works by you, you getting get, your you butts get a up here. Percentage of what we make, right? right? And you haven't paid me. We haven't made anything. Well, now That's we've true. got a little stop. We can buy you a new ship. Yeah, then buy me a new true. ship, but for now, both I and Flapjack need your help sailing. Oh, okay. All right, what do you need? What do you need? Get on up here. Little stop, I need you to stay right here. And I put little stop right on top of the head. Okay. Yeah. Of uh, <laughs> the lieutenant. It's rough. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't move, okay? We'll be right back. Uh, right. So you go up to assist Sartell and Flapjack in their sailing. Um, and I, th I think with that, it's a pretty good stopping point because we'll reach the Rock of Brawl on the next episode here. So with that, we'll call an end to this particular episode. And we'll do some some shout outs going, uh, going around the horn here to uh, tell everyone where they can find you on the internet. Damn. Boss, Helene, yes. where can Hello. people find you on the internet? Not a very good boss. Um, <laughs> um, hi, my name's Dan or Danotaj. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet, basically. I'm all I'm Danotaj on all platforms. I do content on pretty much all platforms. Um, we're going to be pushing TikTok and Instagram pretty hard here pretty soon with a lot of small quippy quips. And uh, I, I will be live a lot this month, you know, because of ads and stuff. Mm. uh on twitch and then there will there's about three videos a week on youtube so come check us check me out and all the pesky stuff i get up to yes That's me excellent thank you very much triple a or double d as it were today triple c's triple Ooh, c's <laughs> true where can we find you on the internet uh yeah you can find me over on uh twitch.tv slash mudcat or mudcat tv on socials but uh, more importantly you can find me uh d20 deathmatch everywhere playing uh, pvp D D and other shenanigans so definitely come check us out on youtube as we're uh, as we're pushing the youtube frontier with d20 deathmatch yes it was very good and i've deathmatched a couple of times before it's been fantastic yes and last certainly not least uh our light in the proverbial dark cat where can we find you on the internet hi my name is cat you can find me on twitch at i'm cat i am um, a variety chaotic streamer who does you know the art stuff here and there currently doing a lot of new world for the new world uh return to a turnum event so you get twitch drops and whatnot so go go trees company mudcat and i are both on it so go make trees sure you check us out yeah go, go, trees. Trees. go, go trees. trees get your yeah, drops and trees. go trees excellent go trees. Thank you all very much for being here today. I do appreciate it. Thanks for accommodating our later start time. Next week, we will be at 5 p.m. Eastern time, unless something terrible happens and uh, we're late, but that's fine. It'll be okay. Otherwise, you can support all of these lovely people at the links that I've just posted there or in the description down below. You can also support us over at patreon.com slash diefall uh, and help these lovely creators get paid. So thanks again for hanging out. And until next week, goodbye.